I received a new death threat from a peaceful and loving Muslim. As a response, I am now forced to teach him and his fellow brothers and sisters in Islam a new lesson about their disgusting cult from the scholarly books. And I'm sure that the Muslims won't be embarrassed about what the scholars of fiqh and Islamic Sharia teach you what to do as a Muslim in certain situations. The following video is not for children. This is a warning. Peggy 18. In the following book called Al Majmu' Sharh Al Muhadhab, Li Imam Al Nawawi, Volume 2, page 10, we can read. لو أخرج الدود رأسها من أحد السبيلين ثم رجعت قبل أن في صالة ففي انتقاد الوضوء. Translation: If a worm or a parasite that lives inside your anus or vagina shows its head outside one of the holes, then it goes back inside the hole. Your ablution or wudu is invalidated. So, according to the scholars, as a Muslim, if you have parasites or worms living inside your body, you have to always keep an eye and see if the worm is peeping with his head outside your bottle or vagina during the ablution. Else, the ablution becomes invalid and you have to wash all over again. Damn! Wait, you thought that I was done, right? Let us continue. On page 11, we can also read, Translation, if a person wraps a piece of cloth around his finger and inserts it into his anus while praying to Allah, then his prayer is not invalid. In other words, as a Muslim, you can keep your finger inside your bungle when you pray to Allah. Just keep your finger in there. Where the sun doesn't shine. Please stay away from Islam. Ha! Gotti! Gotti!